This might be the weirdest bolo I've ever seen. They paid $15 and sold it for $898.99. What? Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right. In this video, we are going to talk about big money bolos. Items to be on the lookout for. Items you can buy low and sell for hopefully a big profit. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. I posted this in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. Share your best November bolo. And Everybody in the group is welcome to share a bolo. The group now has 100,000 members. So if you're not in it, definitely come over and join and share a bolo. And let's get started here with the first one. It says, I believe this is my best profit yet. Filson double tin pants. I got them free. That's nice. A former coworker had seen my posts on Facebook about my eBay store. When selling her house, she had a bunch of stuff she didn't want to deal with and gave it to me for free. Included two pairs of these Filson pants. They are very heavy duty and water resistant and fused with wax so they can't be washed. So this pair was pretty dirty, which I showed lots of pics of. They also smelled quite musty, which I included in the description. I did set them out in the sun several days, which helped, but didn't get rid of the smell. They paid asking price. They have a 70% sell-through rate. I have a second pair that is cleaner, so plan to list higher. Average listing price right now is $244. I sold for full asking price of $199 plus the buyer paid shipping. It was an inter international buyer. This is what they look like. This one comes from Nina's Jewels. <laughs> She's so funny. Um, okay. Uh, she told me in parentheses how to say it. It's teeks. I do know how to say these. I do know how to say this word actually, uh, but they are teeks shoes. And that's only because I have had a lot of people share these. Pick these shoes up for $5 at a garage sale, sold for a hundred within a month of on best offer. These have been on my reseller wish list for a while. Was so excited when I finally found some. Teeks by, now this word I might not be able to say. This is what she should have told me how to say. Gavrelli <laughs> women's ballet flats there you go this one is it says this was only six inches and sold super fast we know jelly cat sells well so I grab this quick for two dollars listed and sold in two days would have wouldn't have known about this brand if you didn't work so hard to help us all out. Oh, thank you. We are also thankful for you and your hard work. Thank you so much. You guys, this one comes from Horse Lover. And it is a Jelly Cat London Little Rambler Fox Soother Lovey. So it's a little lovey. And it sold for $24.68. This one comes from Childhood Finds. And she has a YouTube channel. And you definitely want to check it out because she's a bolo finder. I'm one of the odd people that adore Furbies, and I bought this one in bulk lot on a Furby, a bulk lot of Furbies on Facebook Marketplace and have about $4 into it and sold it for $105. The original Furbies are great from the 90s, but the ones from 2005 all hold pretty good value also. It looks like this one has a little green uh, spoon. Hmm. And... I am not a fan of Furbies because I don't think you can turn them things off. I bought a bunch of them to sell one time. I couldn't get the things to wake up. I was watching videos on how do you wake them up and you like got to turn them upside down and mess with their eyelids and stick your finger in their mouth. I don't know. There's all these things you can do. You can actually go onto YouTube and search how do I wake a Furby up. If you get a Furby and you put batteries in it and it does not work, there are actually techniques that you can do to wake the thing up. So Go watch the videos. It might not actually be broken. I got several of mine to wake up, but then I could not get them to be quiet. <laughs> so I'm not a fan of Furbies. Paid $2 at a yard sale this past summer. Took a best offer of $47 and shipped to Florida this month. Clark's Leather Open Toe Slide Sandals. And they're a 6.5, so that's a small size. I have found that size six and six and a half shoes are harder to sell. That's my opinion. I don't sell a lot of shoes anymore. Let me know down in the comments how you guys do with shoes. Um, anything extra or special that you can put in the title to help sell them. Uh, let me know down in the comments. I found this Avon Mouse Advent Calendar at a garage sale for $2. It was in the original packaging but had been opened and had a couple small flaws. So um, it was probably pre-owned, but original packaging. 
sold it for 155 and I just sold one for 93 without the mouse. So they are definitely a bolo. Found, uh, I'm sorry, paid $15 for the set at an estate sale. It is a very small post. <laughs> Let me see. Oh my goodness. 1990s Cheryl Wagner Imperial Swan Sconces Swans sold for $898.99. They paid $15 and sold it for $898.99. What? Bolo. Here's a story to tell you to never give up. I purchased a box of vintage Christmas decorations at an estate sale. The box was $10, but it was the second day of the sale, so it was half off of five. Half off four or five. I probably paid 25 cents for this Santa. I spent a few hours researching him. He was laying at the bottom of a large box unprotected. I started the auction at 75. I had offers immediately, but held out. After a few days, there were 72 watchers and a bid of $261. I had a message from someone asking him, so I picked, asking about him, so I picked him up to look at the base and dropped him. His leg broke. Ah! So you guys, the item already has bids and the leg broke when she went to look some, look at it. I was devastated and ended the auction tearfully. The next morning, a buyer contacted me and asked what happened. I sent a picture of the broken Santa and they replied they still wanted it. So I listed high and they sent a best offer of 595. Positive feedback already. Best sale ever. There you go. It's paper mache. It's a German Bell's Nickel Christmas Santa Claus with gifts on his back. And you can see this was the original listing and this is the second listing where the leg is literally broken. So somebody's probably just gonna glue it back together, I would think. Wow, that's crazy. This one comes from Got Junk in Our Trunk and she is a moderator of this Facebook group. Please go show her some love. Check out her eBay store, which is her name. Check out her YouTube channel. She is incredible and she helps so much in this group, you guys. The Facebook group is 100,000 members growing rapidly, and without my moderators, it would be impossible. So please show them some love. I purchased this in a lot of mixed CDs from a small local online auction. Cost was about a dollar each. Sold to an overseas buyer for four days. I'm sorry, within four days of listing. This is the 2006 version of her self-titled album. Taylor Swift. Debut self-titled CD, first cut 2006. There it is. And um, Got Junk in Our Trunk is also coming over to Whatnot. So be sure to follow her over there. She has so much inventory. Um, I think, I don't know if she has a storage unit or just extra space, but I know she's looking to bring a lot of that to Whatnot. So I'm guessing a lot of it's gonna be uncurated and she's probably gonna have some really cool stuff because she has a great eye. If you're not on Whatnot, definitely check it out. I have a link down below. You can get $15 to shop. That is my referral link. And all of my referral links are listed down below. I do get um, either a commission or money to shop, depending on which referral link you use. And I do appreciate it when you guys use those. It costs you nothing and it definitely helps me out. Mercari and Poshmark, if you join with those links to sell on those platforms, you get money to shop and then I get money to shop. So that's always fun as well. Everybody loves free money, right? Um, so check out Got Junk in Our Trunk on Whatnot and come follow me on Whatnot. Come hang out in the chat. We have such a good time. It's so fun. So I hope to see you guys there on Whatnot. Even if you don't buy anything, just come hang out. All right, here we go. Hi, Courtney. Here is a 1964 G.I. Joe. Again, this was picked up out of a dumpster across the street from my house. My two friends and I grabbed whatever we could. Some items were like they were in a time capsule. I've sold a handful of things. My cost, zero. I did what you or Rachel Strickland said. After I listed as an auction at $99.99, I got four offers with the highest at $217. I edited the, edited the listing to 217 and then declined the four offers. Immediately, the one that offered 217 bid on it. It ended at 222.50 plus the buyer paid shipping. 
And this one comes from Timeless Treasures by Gina. And this is her bolo. So check her out on eBay. Found this cute Douglas Cuddle Toys Simba plush at a local Goodwill for six. Excellent condition, a few watchers, but no takers on a week-long eBay auction. Sold on Mercari a few days later for $2.15 plus shipping. Buyer absolutely loves him. Thank you, Courtney, for all you do for the reselling community. We appreciate you. Oh, thank you so much. It's a Disney The Lion King Simba Club Douglas Cuddle Toys. Mercari guys, plush toys, jewelry, so many things sell well on Mercari. Definitely check out the platform. Again, I mentioned my referral link. If you join Mercari with it, you get $10 to shop and another $20 to shop when you sell $100 worth of stuff. So that's 30 bucks that you guys can buy something to resell. A friend, okay, this has got junk in our trunk also. A friend offers me a private pick of his yard sale cast offs about four times a year. This was purchased for around 50 cents at one of my picks. Sold within a week of listing for a best offer of $100. It is a hard to find item by a country singer. The buyer was a country singer music memorabilia collector. It is Psychopath Book by David Allen Coe. Um, hard to find paperback. And she sold it for $100. It was the last day and last hour of an estate sale. This 1951 Pollyanna board game was in the basement for $5. All the pieces are there, but has damage to the box. Sold within a couple days for full asking price of $59.99. Never heard of that game. So look up board games. This one comes from Nana's Nichols. And I bought, she said, I bought this fashion plates paper doll. I've sold this before. Stencil set for $5 at ARC thrift store and got a message a couple days after listing on Mercari asking if I would sell one plate. I said, sure, but needed to wait till the offers on eBay expired. She then sent a message the next day on the eBay listing. She was smart about the spelling for Mercari, but I was not. <laughs> Therefore, after I sold her the item for $5, I ended the eBay listing and revised and reposted as sell similar. eBay ghosted my listing and then I ended it and did sell similar under another listing and sold it in less than 12 hours for my full asking price of $82. So 87 total from a $5 purchase. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's a Tumi, fa it's a Tumi Fashion Plates Designer 1978 crayon holder, 34 stencils. And this is what it looks like. Definitely a bolo. I have sold that one before. One of my sales this week. Bought at the bin, so probably less than a dollar in it. Sold in two weeks on Mercari. Started high at 75 since there were no sold comps anywhere. Promoted and sold. Disney Parks Marathon Weekend Exclusive Mouse Ears 2020. Sold for $61.90. This one comes from Childhood Finds. And again, I told you she's a bolo finder. So check out her YouTube. I picked this up at one of the largest, craziest estate sales I've ever been to. Even while dodging elbows and shoulders, I managed to grab this antique. It was in a big bulk price, so I only, I'm only in it for about a dollar. These are most typically seen as mourning pieces, but this one appeared to be a family piece with hair from each member. What? This might be the weirdest bolo I've ever seen. <laughs> is sold within a few months for 400. Like I said, she's very she's very smart. You guys are going to learn from her channel. It says antique Victorian hair tree art, deep well walnut hand stitched shadow box frame. Okay, first off, how on earth did you know that this was hair? Like help me understand how you knew to pick this up. <laughs> what on earth is happening? So a dollar into 400. Wow, that's incredible. I, I just don't, I'm, I'm a little bit speechless. Uh, piece of scrap. This one comes from Piece of Scrap. She's on YouTube and she sells a lot of clothes and shoes. She's awesome. Check her out. Paid a dollar at a church sale and sold on Poshmark for $100. And th they're boots, but I don't know what brand they are or any other details. I hate that about Poshmark because you can't see the title. Let me see if she put it down here. She did. She's awesome. It says Tony Llama men's 10 and a half lizard. And this is what it looks like. 
sold this vintage Mr. Christmas Santa's marching band on the 10th for full price, $160 on Poshmark. I had to pay $13.50 to upgrade the label because it weighed almost eight pounds when packaged up. Paid $15 like two years ago at the Goodwill, but I didn't list it until three months ago. It has a box, papers, and a set of extra clappers. Um, this is what it looks like. And I don't know if this is the exact same one, but Farm Girl Scavenger Noelle, she parted out a Mr. Christmas set of something. Um, I don't remember if it was the marching band or not, but definitely check out that video she did because you can part these out and make lots of money doing it. So um, if it works, probably don't do that um, because it's a big money bolo, but if it, it's an option to part it out. So check out Farm Girl Scavenger Noel. Uh, I think if you type in Farm Girl Scavenger Noel, Mr. Christmas, you'll probably find the video. I drove an hour and a half to New Orleans after seeing this set of dishes at an estate sale. I did the research before deciding it was worth going to see the price. Walked in with my bag and a blanket and threw the blanket over the set and had a worker put sold across with tape. $170, I'm sorry, $175 for 18 pieces. Sold all the plates, one to four at a time, and one serving platter for $716, including one with a chip. Not one broke in shipping. Two platters left. Wow. 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 Johnson Brothers Wild Turkey Windsor Ware Native American Salad Plates. So it's a turkey. It's a turkey. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Always look at bathroom items. I think it's mentioned every month, but these finds at a hoarder's estate sale were fantastic. The estate sale owner likes me, and I get great prices on my piles. He also asks about my eBay business every time. He So I paid less than a dollar on these items and a huge return on discounted salon products. Whoa. This one is A-L-T-E-R-N-A. -E Al Alterna? 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 <laughs> Bamboo volume 24-hour Sustainable volume spray, 4.2 ounces, hard to find. Sold two of them, $80 each for a total of $160. Wow. That's amazing. Pay attention to local artists. I picked up a box of postcards signed by Patty Bannister, local to me and deceased artist, at an estate sale for about a dollar. Put them on eBay at a high price and got a really low offer from the same person on about three. I looked up the person because they had a seller's account, figuring they were local and found they had an art shop about 15 minutes from me. I took the entire box to their shop and introduced myself. She bought eight cards for 160 and gave me information I didn't know about the others. Paid with my Square account and a credit card, and I kept the numbers that I had already posted on eBay. A friend of hers was at the same estate sale, but I dug and found the box. Picture is a living a living picture is a live listing as this was in person and east window by patty banister postcard sign numbered print 418 interesting that's what it looks like paid a dollar at the goodwill and sold in a day a day or two on mercari always have good luck with the super and robo pups from paw patrol this one is paw patrol apollo super pup dog plush stuffed animal seven inches guys and has tag embroidered, $37.72, and the buyer paid shipping. All right, you guys, we are going to stop there. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Head over to my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. Check out the new format for sharing a bolo. Get some exposure to your store and help educate and share your bolo with others through this video format. Thank you guys so much and thanks for watching.